Hi, this is Tushar from Informatica MDM GCS team. Today we are going to cover a topic MDM external call, code setup and configurations in the provisioning tool. So agenda for today's session, overview, steps for code setup, configurations in the provisioning tool and then actual demo. External calls allows us to configure and call custom code validations which can be executed as part of business entity services request. Complex business validation can be implemented through code. It allows us to validate augmented that is persisting in the MDM. Next one call was introduced starting MDM 10.2x releases. Code setup. The prerequisite is valid ORS should be present with e applications. We have sample code present in the resource kit that we can use to input into the Eclipse. Run the build and generate the PS external call ER that here we need to deploy on the server. Coming to the provisioning tool side configurations, create visdl in provisioning tool from the visdl generated from ER file. Create soap service using created visdl in the tool. Configure the external call with soap service and register the business entity and corresponding service phase. Publish the changes in the provisioning tool and validate the ORS in MDM hub. Then in IDD360 applications, try to create the record from entity view by just entering the person details. We should get some validation errors that are implemented through the BS external call. Let's quickly check the demo. So I open the Eclipse ID in the workspace, default workspace. I'll give the get the option import project. Okay, I can click on this one import project. Then in inside general, I have option project from folder or archive. Click on next. It is asking us to import the source. So I can browse and select my code. So my PS section called present in InfoMDM hub resource kit samples. I'm selecting the PS section call folder. I'll click on finish. Okay, so the code is imported into the ITD. ID sorry and it is giving 32 warnings okay now to generate the ER we need to compile and generate the ER out of it for that go to the windows show view other and open so and view is shown here just expanding this all the files and folders I'm get I will have this build.xml I will use this build.xml to compile and generate the year out of it I'm just dragging and dropping it into the ant view so these all targets are present in this build.xml so let's clean the existing thing okay I'm just double clicking on this one clean okay so it has deleted directory ps external build okay so once you refresh the war and everything should go out. yeah now to compile and build the year double click on the build okay so console is launched and it is trying to build the code okay okay so i think it is failed with some compile time errors okay so it uh, seems that it is using the default JRE which is provided in the Eclipse okay so you can see this path right uh, users JRE full j java.exe okay which is provided by the Eclipse to change the JRE okay uh, we can go to build XML okay and then run as and build okay you can go to the JRE so you can see right it is using this particular JRE so if, if we want to use the Java which is there on the application server so you can go to install JRE and then you can click on add standard VM okay and then you can select the JRE okay Java version so for me it's already there okay so I'm using the JRE 1.8 okay which is same as my application server so I have already added this here 
apply apply and close and then select this GRE 1.8 point okay apply and then run so this will again try to compile and generate the ER okay now the build is successful right yeah now you can see the ER is generated in the below location So you can see the ER file got generated. Now we need to copy this ER file and deploy it in the application server. So JPOS is my application server, standalone deployments, and I'll just paste this file here, okay? And it will deploy. So I already copied it and it got deployed. So once it got deployed, we should be able to hit the URL correspond to a VS external call. So localhost port and then my VS external call. Okay. So you can see it. It's a custom logic service and this is the Visual, which is available through this ER. Now coming to the provisioning tool configuration, log into the provisioning tool, localhost, provisioning, along with admin credentials. I am selecting the ORS. Okay. So you have to go to uh, go to the business entity extensions and then wisdom okay so you can click on create and then enter uh, I have entered the BS external call and then I have registered this URL okay you can see this HTTP localhost 8080 slash BS hyphen external hyphen call slash custom logic service dot wisdom this is the same wisdom I have registered okay then next step you have to go to soap services then you have to click on create and then add bs external call okay so i have given the name bs external call and in the drop down i will get the option which i have selected okay just for example let's see text and then i will get the option bs external call. once you select that one it will be auto populated based on your wisdom so the third step is to register the actual phase okay I click on create given the name external call once you have the soap service it will get uh, into the drop down select that and then corresponding soap operation will be selected okay okay so you can see this external call and the operation is coming timing I'm just discarding then in business entity service you can create the business entity on which the validation you want to add so I have added the person and the service phase I have added is writes you before validate okay then I click on the apply and publish the changes and validate the ORS that's it now go to the IDD application and check the validation error so I'm logging into the IDD application so validations I have added is for business entity person and the mandatory thing I have made is through uh, PS section call is email address okay so if you are trying to create a person without emails it should throw you the validation error okay i'm adding my name okay yeah i just click on object person must have at least one email address okay so i'm going to the email so this validation error is coming from ps external calls and 
should go away. Yeah. So this is one. Okay. So I'm able to successfully save the entity, and the validation I have implemented is through the PS external call. Yeah. That's it. So summary. Uh, you can see the references. For more details on the BS section call, you can see the Tech Tuesday webinar which has in-depth information on external calls. Also there is a KB for configuration. We would like to hear from you on the below channels. Thank you.